Hello everyone. It seems ages since I recorded any poetry, but with Christmas approaching, I thought now was a good time to restart. And three or four weeks ago, I walked into our local bookshop, the uh, Stripey Badger bookshop in Grassington in the Yorkshire Dales, and my eyes fell upon this book, which you won't be able to read from there, but it's a book by Carol Ann Duffy, the former poet laureate, called Christmas Poems. And apparently when she was poet laureate each year, at Christmas time, she would write a Christmas poem, sometimes a take on a traditional poem, sometimes entirely new. So I thought this year I will read on three different days, three of her Christmas poems on this Sunday, then on Tuesday and on Thursday, the day before Christmas Eve. The final one will be Carol's take on the very famous Christmas poem, A Night Before Christmas. She calls it Another Night Before Christmas. Then on the Tuesday, two days before, I will read her poem, The Christmas Truce, which of course is retelling the touching story of the Christmas in the trenches in the First World War when the two competing armies, men from the armies, climbed out of their trenches and wished each other a very happy Christmas. But the first, which will be on Sunday, uh, is Caroline Duffy's description or story about the old medieval tradition whereby at Christmas time the, the Lord of the Manor would allow lots to be taken for a common commoner to organise the festivities, turning the social world upside down, topsy-turvy. And uh, the, the name of that tradition was uh, the Lord of Misrule, and she entitles her poem, The King of Christmas. So, as we stand by the edge of Windermere on a cold, pre-Christmas evening, I say cheerio for now and hope you will join me for the first poem this Sunday. Cheerio.